Hey everybody, welcome back to Pokemon Sapphire. Tony's about to fight this fucking nerd. The first legendary that we'll add to our roster. You know, it's not as scary Fee when Kyogre does it because it's blue. Fofum. <laughs> I, I think it's scarier when it's ground on because it's all fucking fire and angry. Kyogre's just like majestic. Pokeball? Uh, that'll do. Pokeball. <laughs> Premier Ball, wow. Do you know Premier Ball has the exact same catch rate as a regular Pokeball? Yeah, it just looks cooler. Yeah, I like it. Wow! Didn't give a shit about that ball. <laughs> it's kind of like you just kind of smacked him in the head with it. <laughs> just made him angry. He hydro pumped it back at you. <laughs> like you, you throw it at him, it gets stuck in his blowhole, and he fucking suffocates. I'm going to try to hold... <laughs> <laughs> just, just kill it. <laughs> kill this majestic flying water dragon. <laughs> oh shit, Ben drowned. <clears throat> Oh, yeah. Well, here, you can talk about it while I fight him again. Here, we're back. Tony sucked balls last time. You're going to have to say, here, we're back. Just... People are going to notice that his health is different. Right? Well, I thought you were just ditching everything. I was going to throw up on you. Hey, we're back. Hello. Okay, so I mentioned last episode I was going to talk about Ben Drowned. Ben Drowned? So, I don't actually know the full story, so I'm going to actually look it up right now. But what it, what it basically boils down to was there was a, a copy of, I think it was Majora's Mask. Um, that's an old Zelda game for the N64. Okay. And there's a kid that played it, and I guess he died. And somebody bought his copy of Majora's Mask. How would they know it was his copy? What it, well, here's the thing, though. Uh, there's a save file on it called Ben. And when the guy, I don't remember if he deleted it or he played it or whatever, but it was all fucked up. Like, there was this weird statue of Link that would just kind of show up out of nowhere. His, uh, Link's character would just be like, like, his upper body would just be, like, fucked up and upside down when his character would walk. Like, the whole game was really creepy and mm. fucked up. And I guess what, 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 what the creepypasta is is that Ben died and is, like, haunting the game. Mm. Ben. D. Ben Drowned. It's like one of the most famous creepypastas. And why is it called Ben Drowned? Because that's how Ben died. Ben, ben oh, Drowned. He, oh, he drowned. Okay. Well, I mean, you just said he died, so I didn't know. Uh, Hunts Majora's Mask, one of those creepypastas. Yeah, blah, 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 blah. It's created by Alex Hall. Um, Are, aren't most of these just kind of made up? Oh, they're all made up. Every single one of them is made up. It's just scary stories. Oh. I thought some of it's, them it's, like, it's, actually had merit. No, it's just internet urban legends. It's like oh. real urban legends. Okay. It's like, you ever hear of the, have you ever heard of the Chippy Camera? It's like, no. He's out there and he's eating gits. He's not, but it's just a spooky thing you tell kids. Don't you fucking lie about the Chupacabra. It's not Chupacabra, it's Chupacabra. Well, I don't know about your Chupacabra, but Chupacabra's real, motherfucker. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up, you. Oh, shit. Yeah, I forgot. The actual creepypasta is written as, like, uh, someone's blog. And it's, like, uh, like the dates that they're playing the game. And it's, like, oh, this spooky thing happened today. This spooky thing happened today. And I think it is weird. I'm, I'm pretty sure it does have, like, a slight merit. But it's I'm, I know it's just hacks. But what freaked people out was this guy posted footage of, like, the fucked up stuff in the game actually happening. Oh, uh, so, yeah, he just hacked the game. And he, just, he just hacked the game. But... That is really cool, I think. Aha! I caught Kyger. Okay. I always end up catching legendaries when I'm not paying attention. Look at his footprint. <laughs> what kind of footprint is that? It's, it's his little flippers. Yeah, oh, that's cute. Flippers. That's All right. cute. You want to give a nickname to him or no? Uh, do you mind? Here. All right. Awesome. We caught Kyger. Uh. Are you really yeah. gonna put his name backwards? Uh, no. Um, what 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 do you think we should name him? Some Japanese fish. Are you <laughs> <laughs> okay? Dinner. <laughs> Dinner is such a PC. So yeah, Tony caught his stupid fucking ground on. Shit, sorry. That's a I guy over. I hit the mic. Whatever, I don't care. Wait, do I get a battle this dude right now? What dude? This dude, my rival. He just came out of his fucking thing. No, he just. I. He's my least favorite rival. Really? Just because he's, like, all the rivals, they always talk shit, 
or at least him and Gary, mm-hmm. and you beat the shit out of them every time. They're like, oh, whatever, nerd. I'm better than you at Pokemon. This guy, he's just like a big pussy, and he's like, oh, I hate weak trainers. I hate the weak. You pathetic piece of shit. And then every single time you fight him, you, beat you him. wreck him. And he's just, I hate the weak. I hate you. You are a pathetic trainer. I am the strongest trainer, and I will not lose to people like you. You've well, lost to me. The first trainer you fought was me. I beat the shit out of you, and I beat you every single time we fought. You know, actually, I also have to say my least favorite is um, a little, Mc, little McDickface in this one. The fucking kid Wally? with the, Yeah, Wally in May. They both count as rivals, and they both suck. This guy at least has some character growth because it's like, you beat him. He's like, I hate weak trainers. And what does he do? He gets stronger. That's kind of cool. And then he changes at the end of the game. And yeah. he's like, nice. I think that's better than fucking Gary. Gary's just a dickhead. Yeah, just, I'm the strongest trainer in the universe. You're the best one. Smell you later, nerd. <laughs> you got any pot? Says, fuck you, Gary. Just, what? Fucking garbage ass Gary. Oh, God. I keep hitting this stuff. All right. We owe it all to you. This guy's the best. Um, so I guess we can, since you're doing this, I'll take some time out of my precious Pokemon playing. <laughs> Are you gonna look up more creepy pastas or something? Yeah, actually, because I want—I did want to make a list. Of... You want to have a creepy pasta episode? Yeah, actually, I, I'm really into creepy pastas. People always bitch about like, oh, horror, horror movies are so much garbage now. Like, oh, so, everything's so stale and everything's just a remake. It's like, what? Oh, you stupid! No, I did that on purpose. What? I want to get on top so I can fight all these gym trainers. Oh yeah, but people just bitch, like exclusively bitch, like, oh, oh all these movies are just a bunch of remakes, a bunch of garbage. People always say it like that too. No, they have that exact voice. But if you're tired of like modern horror, or you think it's like stale or whatever, creepy are like the best next thing to go to. Like, oh, whatever. I don't like reading. Well, then go fuck yourself. Even but then, they, you can just watch. No, there's, yeah, they have yeah, videos. Yeah, there's videos. Mr. Creepypasta. He's kind of annoying because he does some videos where it's like he kind of tries to act funny, but they're not funny. It's just awkward. Mm-hmm. But when he actually reads, it's great. He did. Uh, he has some audiobooks that he um, read, and they're awesome. Yeah, I, um, I showed some people at BG Creepypasta because I knew one of them was afraid of clowns. Mr. Creepypasta. I didn't yeah. know it was about clowns, but you, I did it, and then it starts at the clown's feet. Yeah, and, and, and the video goes up. To his face. I don't remember what it was called, but by, I read that one. By the time it gets to the face, it's the horrifying. girl was hiding her face. She could not. like She was freaking out because of the, the, scare, the creepiness of the video, but I was like, oh, look, it's going up his body. Like the who whole did, thing. Who did you show? How about we not put that in the <laughs> Yeah, episode. take that out, please. Thank you. For, for the love of God. <laughs> um. But yeah, like, it's... Yeah, that, I do remember that. It is. I do remember that creepypasta. That was actually a pretty good one. There... Because, like, the father's insane, basically, is what they're trying to say, but he's not. Yeah. He keeps thinking there's, like, somebody who's stalking his kid. And it's... A clown, I think? Yeah, it's a clown. It, like, dismembers their dog, and then it dismembers the kid. Yeah, and it's just... While the dad's and, watching, and then... But I guess what it basically boils down to is just, like, a ghost that fucks with people, and the dad thinks it's, like, a clown that does it, and really he just goes crazy and kills his kid. But the clown is real. It just tricks the dad into yeah. killing the kids. That's kind of a trope that's been done before, but I think it was still a cool story. Yeah. But yeah, Mr. Creepypasta, you guys should look him up. It's all one word. Mr. Creepypasta. He's really good. Um, I was just going to look at... Wait, can we, like, send a link to this episode to that person? Maybe they'd be like, oh, cool, they gave us a shout-out. And... I guess we could. I mean, why not? Yeah, you can do whatever. What if we get a new friend? I like that. I really like that, dude. He... There's another guy, his name's Creeps McPasta. I don't like him as much because he's British. There's nothing <laughs> against the British thing. It's just, oh, like, okay. when, he talk, when, he, when he does the stories, it, it's like... He tries to, like, over dramatize it. Um, I, I don't know. I can't explain it. I just don't really like his voice. Okay. But they're both good. They're both really good. Okay, so I'll just make... I'll make a list. I'll put some... I'll put a handful of them as uh, links in the description of this video. Um, I'll just send them to like Mr. Creepypasta, Mr. Creepypasta videos. And you guys can check them out. Um, 1999 is a really good one. It's about... Uh, I don't know if I've done that one. It's pretty long. It's actually one of my favorites. Because a lot of people, when they think of creepypastas, they think like, oh, it's Slenderman, Jeff the Killer, Smile Dog, blah, blah, blah. These are, I love creepypastas. And they just, like, know fucking Slenderman. Or, like, played the Slenderman games. Like, yeah, they're so great. Fuck you. <laughs> There's a lot of really good ones that most people don't know of. Like, Antran. Antran was really good. It's about a fucking robot that kidnaps kids. Yeah, that was, that was a pretty cool, creepy story. Yeah, that would be a fucking awesome movie. 
1999. Um, like, without spoiling stuff, I'll just, like, give you guys some of the jests. I think we talked about this before. Didn't we do another Creepypasta episode way back in the day? I don't remember. I don't remember either. Well, this one we can actually... Talk about stuff, since yeah. you're fucking doing nothing. Nothing. I'm just fighting the gym trainers, and then when this episode's over, we'll fight the eighth gym and get the badge. And yeah. All that fun stuff. Uh, 1999, it's like this blogger who is on uh, message boards talking about this um, show that he remembers seeing when he was a kid. This kid me. <laughs> yeah. Canadian blogger. Um, there's a show that he ends up talking about when he was a kid. I don't remember what it was called. I'm trying to find it right now. Right meow. Right meow. But basically, it's a bunch of people all talking and like coming together about the show they remember as a kid. And as they start talking about it more and more, they realized it was kind of fucked up. And the, this is a creepy pasta. Yeah, that was the guy that ran the show. His name was Mr. Bear. Huh. And there's like a fucked up episode of him. It's like holding some little like some kid's hand, and like in front of the TV, and he just sticks it into a fire and just leaves it there for like five minutes. And there's like a fake show. It's supposed to be an actual show. I mean, it is fake. Yeah. But well, in in the creepy pasta, in, in the creepy pasta, it's real, but it's actually fake. Yeah. Because I was trying to think like they wouldn't. That's no. not. <laughs> no. And as it as it goes like further and further along, people realize that like this guy was actually trying to talk to kids and like get him. To his house, where he would like fucking kill them, hmm. um, and it's really good. Candle Cove is another one that's like that. There's another one. It's called Candle Cove. It's pretty similar. Um, it's another fucked up kids TV show. Um, this is just a list of like top ten popular creepy pastas. The Rake. It's just like it's oh. just like some fucked up monster that would sneak into people's houses and kill them. It's scary. And then rake their leaves. Well, it's supposed to look like some fucking weird cancer patient thing, but it just has, like, like claws, like, fucking metal claws for hands. It would just, like, stalk people, and, and if, it, did, hands if it didn't kill you, it would you'd just make you go crazy. Uh, oh, the Anassi Goatman story. The Ana- Anassi Goatman is, like, an actual goat man, and it's just, like, this kid and his friends, and they're camping out in the woods, and uh, it ends up, I think it can, like, shake, sh- shapeshift, and... Uh, like, these kids are throwing a party, and this thing is, like, fucking with them for the whole night. And one of the kids is, like, asleep, and he kind of wakes up, and, like, for some reason, he just ends up, like, counting everybody, and he realizes there's one more person than they had when they went to the fucking cabin. Mm-hmm. So he's just, like, sitting there freaking out, trying to figure out who's who, and then he falls back asleep and wakes up, and then it's back to normal. Like, they're back to the regular count. It's a, it's actually, it's pretty spooky. So the it's ghost just partied spirit. with them, and then... Kinda. I really don't know what it's supposed to do, but I know it fucks with them. Like, it, it's just... Some of them it kidnaps and kills people, some of them it kills people and then takes their shape. I think in this one it just kinda fucks with them. Like, it's just... It's a nice party, nerds, and pushes the cooler over. Sure. Let's party, scrub lords. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's, it's not actually a creepy thing. Because you gay lords can't party with a fucking goat man. <laughs> yeah. You call this alcohol? Joe, sure. what is this? Snaps? Well, I remember when I was 12. My piss has higher proof than this garbage. <laughs> <laughs> just, like, just, wow, goat man, you're the butt chug this bottle ever clear. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, oh, Annie ninety six is typing. Annie ninety six is typing is one of the. Oh, that's um, all. The, that's all the title. Yes. Okay. Annie ninety six is typing. It was really cool because I I did it on my phone and it was an app, um, that I actually opened up. They turned it into an app. Well, for the creepy pasta, yeah, because it's like it's um like Facebook messages between two people and it was cool because you click on it and like it loads the next message and you click on it and it loads the next message Let's see and as it goes it. down they made the app so it would like fuck up and glitch out and it made my screen all weird for a couple seconds it was really cool and really immersing so next time we're gonna fight the last gym surprise surprise it's Wally 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 fucking nerd or Wally, Wally, Wally Wallace Wop. his name's Wallace <laughs> Wally Wop alright so we'll see you guys next time uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Shout out to Mr. Creepy Pasta. Yeah, Creepy Pasta. Uh, uh, but, uh, bye. Um.